She's hungry. What the? There, she's down. Even though she can't drink it, my body keeps making it. Going through the motions really helps with the soreness, though. What is she? She's my daughter. And I'm her mama. It's okay. She's only connected to me. It's not like the other BTs. You can see it, right? You're hooked up. Now you know why I can't leave. What? Explain! Explain now! So, about the supercell. Do you think the grown-ups could talk for a minute? Thank you. Look at this. This was the chiral density when the supercell appeared. But almost immediately after, it dropped to normal levels. In other words, the storm vanished in less than a second. And that's impossible. Okay, let's pull the data from your cufflinks and take a look then. Recorded something. Well, that's all pretty crazy, but at least you're not. Timestamps in the logs support your story. Best guess I can muster is you were trapped between two different space times. What? Two different space times. HQ is doing a deeper analysis. All they've got to work with is the frequency spectrum, but with a little effort. They should be able to figure out where you were sent. Another Cairo spike. She's been crying more at night. Chiral density increases in regions connected to the chiral network, but the numbers are way, way higher than I projected. That's bad, right? Yeah. More connections means more Chirelium. Early on, Bridges did acknowledge this as a potential problem, so I installed special limiters in the cupids to keep the chiral levels in check. Looks like the limiter on yours is faulty, though. The supercell and the temporal phenomenon that you experienced may be related to all this. Are you saying if I keep extending the network, we might be in for more temporal phenomena? Maybe. Or worse, it cause another death stranding. Oh, but you got a solution. Of course I've got a solution. Right over here, in fact. We just need to integrate a limiter into this new cupid I threw together. Thought I'd make you one since you said you were coming. Crisis averted. No, crisis not averted. We need to rewrite the software to work with the new hardware. Well, then get to it. Yeah, um, no can do. I designed the hardware, but the software was written by someone else. Well, where can we find them? Her. The name's Lochna. She was a member of Bridges One. You'll have to head to Mountain Knot City. All right, I gotta take a cupid there anyway. Oh, good. That's great. Here we go again. I don't know what's gotten into her lately. She's so scared. Look at her. 
Maybe the other side wants her back. What the hell? There was something else there then. Maybe she wants to go back. We can't keep on like this. That much I know. You want to tell me what happened? She was due. I was in the hospital waiting for a C-section. Then the terrorists hit us. under the rubble. Nothing to do with wait. From wait. Ah. Felt like forever. But no one came. They say air. And water. Gave birth there in the rubble. But instead of bringing life into the world, I brought death. sense but she's a bt the ties that bind her to this place bind me too you could say i've never really been discharged and you're okay with that i mean you know she's gone you want to live your life in the shadow of the dead come on you of all people you chose the dead over the living why else would you be here I just remembered. Dead men told me repatriates have special blood. Mind if I take a sample? Yeah, sure. Suck me dry. You already believe me in my sleep. A bit cold, ain't you? Just a second. There. All done. I want to run a test. Mama, are you? I'm sorry, Sam. Um, would you mind leaving us alone for a while? Yeah. I gotta get to work. Sam? Hey, forget what I said about chiral spikes. Reconnecting the world comes first. 
Maybe we're making things worse. Maybe not. But it's the only plan we've got. Good luck, Sam. Wow. So Sam, the delivery terminal outside still works. Go ahead and get it connected. I'll give you further instructions from there. Oh my god, this is hurting my head. I I would joke you when I said let's see how far down the rabbit hole goes because I thought the fact of everything that happened previously was enough. And it's just got even weirder. I my head hurts. Sam. Your next objective is to bring Mount Nut City into the network. And this route will take you to a way station and on to a distro center north of the city. From there, it gets tricky. You'll have to take a detour to get around the mountains. Still want me using this cupid on the way? Software's not been rewritten yet. It's fine. If you link up Mount Nut City after your cupid is fixed, the update should filter through the network, stabilizing the connection. It's just one more reason to get there ASAP. But for now, make do with the Cupid you've got. Uh-huh. Any word from Mama Lee? None. This we'll is just in right my head. And keep going. It's what she would want. Ooh. Hey, I can control the camera. Anyway, <laughs> check in at Lake Nazi's road. And good luck out there. Right. This is her in my head. I've added a zipline schematic to your PCC. What? I figured it would come in handy. A zip All line. Set one up is at least two anchors. Why bother carrying cargo across a river or up a steep hill when you can just send it through the air? Am I right? If you want a little hands on experience, you can use the anchors outside my lab. Have yourself some fun. The good news is, Fragile's available and willing to lend you a hand. If you want Fragile to send you, you'll need to head to a private room. South Knot City looks closest from what I can see. It'll be a lot quicker than walking, that's for sure. But you can't take any cargo with you, so there's that. It's up to you. Just remember the options there if you need it. I've got a vehicle. I will drive. Right, so let me get my head around this. Shit's weird. Right, I've got my head around it. This, this is just crazy. So she's got a BT that's not a BT that's sticking around her. I'm so confused. My mind is just being blown by this game. It, for every level of weirdness I think I've uncovered and understood, the game gives me six more just to mess with my head. Like what we've just recently witnessed there with a BT baby. That's not a BT. Uh, speaking of BTs. Creativity, how are you? <laughs> we should receive famous last words, indeed. <laughs> Hang on, is this road not built? Did this road degrade? I think that's ceramics. Let's see if we can uh, fix this road. I could have sworn we built this road. Hope we have some ceramics. Damn it, I have no ceramics for this roll. Oh, that's that's just a jib. Let's we'll see if we can bring some ceramics back after we go to the place. I'm, I'm good. We are uh, having fun trying to crack on with more of the story of this game because it's uh, it is blowing my mind, this game. Yeah, no, I, I am literally the pack rat. I, I am the person in Fallout games who will be over encumbered and walk from one end of the map to the others. Alright, here we go. Let's complete this mission. 
We're also carrying a lot of goodies to build the roads and everything. I, I built like 90% of the roads in this world. Special delivery. Let's see what happens. This is a story mission, so there should be some extra content. A delivery? Great. Always happy to get one, let me tell you. Whoa, it's like fresh from the printer or something. Yeah, it is. Yeah, this is the game with the baby um, called BB. And BB is not cute. BB, B is, BB is scary at times. There's been some freaky shit with that kid like ended up in a world war ii bunker fighting bb's dad don't like ask me how the hell that happened i, I can't even explain it myself right uh chemicals can now be used to all us so the amount of materials can be used in chemicals is that a new material reverse trike defensive what Oh, I'm on level two. With the help of the Cairo network, we've recovered experimental data which should provide a boost to our ongoing research and development initiatives. As a matter of fact, we've already made one breakthrough that can be applied to our weapons programs. Hematic rounds, anti-BT ammunition that utilizes the unique properties of your own blood. However, it's important to remember that with each shot fired, you'll be expending a small quantity of your own blood. And depending on the situation, you may be better off switching back to conventional ammo. Further details can be found in the list of equipment available for fabrication. Cool, so they've modified the handguns to be useful against BTs. Sweet. Hell yeah, we just got loads of upgrades, basically. It's brilliant. Yeah, so... um. Obviously, bird of creativity. I I'll try and just get you up to speed with the game as best I can, seeing that you you've only seen the beginning. So, basically, you are a delivery person, yeah. But this world um, has had some kind of cataclysm where oh, how do I word it? The dead have kind of not come back to life. It's more of uh, the world of the dead and the world of the living have collided. And there's an event called Time Fall, which is rain, which accelerates time. So if you're caught out in it in protection, without any protection, you'll go from like zero to 100 in a few minutes and die. Um, but there's these things called BTs, um, which apparently stands for beach things. So they describe the beach as this middle ground between the world of the living and the world of the dead. And these BTs, when this Time Fall, will kill anything that's living but here's the weird twist if you die in the game as a human you um basically start to decompose and you have to be disposed of very very quickly like via an incinerator because if you don't your body does something called a void out which basically means it's like a mini nuclear explosion that will leave a crater the size of a small town in the ground and cause a lot of problems and then more bts come in and all this and things that die become bts so it is totally weird that's the best way to summarize it it gets weirder because bb is a little baby that is grown into a tank connected to you in a sensor that allows you to sense bts now your character is a bit special he's called a repatriate which basically means he has the ability to come back from the dead so if he dies and creates a void out, his soul ends up at the beach. You can then travel back to your body and come back alive. I mean, it's a very unique property. There's only a few of these repatriates in the game. And they've discovered the blood of a repatriate is actually an effective weapon against the BT, which they had no idea previously. Whilst this is all going on, you're trying to reconnect America that's been disbanded, uh, broken up, all these different things have happened. And not only are you dealing with the dead, the undead, the BTs, little babies that can sense all this crazy stuff, you've also got terrorists. 
That's right. You've got just outright terrorists setting off nukes in cities like they tried doing to you. We've already saved the one city from a nuke. So just a few things going on. Then to make it even more interesting, because seriously, this rabbit hole just keeps going deeper. Whenever you rest, BB, the baby, they want to dispose of it because it was faulty and you've refused and you're keeping it with you. You keep having visions of BB and his dad and his the, the mother's in some kind of coma and the dad's constantly talking to BT and you've had loads of different cutscenes. Well, it got weirder because then a storm came along and whilst the storm was intense, when you got sucked into it, the storm dissipated in a second. However, in that one second, you got transported into a world full of what looked like ghost soldiers fighting in a World War II environment where you came across BB's dad who was trying to kill you and he was all in soldier gear with rifles and everything. So you then had to fight him in this World War II bunker and defeat him before you got returned to the world. So whilst you were gone one second according to this world, you was in another world for hours. And it's like, what? So yeah. And then, just to add even more, because like I say, this rabbit hole doesn't seem to have a bloody bottom. It's, um, you've just met one person uh, who's called Mama. And when you get there, your BT sense starts freaking out and she tells you to calm down. And there's this BT baby, this ghost baby floating around that she nurtures and looks after because it was her baby who died. And then you got a really, really sad story of how... She was about to give birth when terrorists attacked. She got buried in rubble. The baby was birthed, but as a BT, but it wasn't a bad BT. It's not one that's trying to kill you or attack you. It just cries, and it's a baby at the end of the day. And it was the baby's cries that alerted the sound part, the search party, to find her and everything. So her baby's death gave her life, and now they're both connected. It's so freaking weird. I am absolutely hooked on the story, but it's a huge game. Absolutely huge. It It's crazy, but I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving this game. It's just, like I say, huge. And you've got this weird level up system that allows you to carry more weight, get less tired and everything, which is really cool. It's like when I started carrying, I could only carry like 100 kilograms. Now I've got power assisted legs that allow me to carry 300 uh, kilograms and all sorts. I've even got automated bots here, you're going to see, that will do deliveries for me. They're not as good as me, but it saves me having to do it constantly. And they sing little ditties. And I think it's worth upgrading everyone to level 5 because the gear I'm getting for it, it honestly, this the gear I've got now that I wish I had at the beginning of the game, it would have made life so much easier. All right. The only problem is now our main mission is we need to get up here. We have to go through a load of waypoints around here, around there, down there, and get to there because there's a big ass mountain in the way. And you'll notice my vehicle's getting rusty um, and damaged, and that is because of the time fall. Because it ages everything. So everything inside the vehicle is protected, but the vehicle itself will age, so I have to repair it every now and then by having a rest. We you can find cargo other people have dropped and return it for them. Um, you can complete other people's missions and help them out. So it's really interesting. You are a post-apocalyptic postman pat, basically. Say that ten times faster. I'm thinking of a way to get missions for... Uh, oh. So, for instance, now, this is where my little BB's detecting BT's. So my little scanner comes on to warn me. Now, touch wood. We've never been attacked on a roll, so we should be relatively safe. What we're going to do now, we're going to drive to the next big depot. See if there's any missions for some of my less than five star areas. Ooh, oh, 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 yes. Mad skills, me. Seriously. 
I'm the Vin Diesel of this world for Fast and Furious. That's what it is. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to have a look at what this new vehicle we unlocked is because it showed a, what looked like a level 3 vehicle but with set defensive. No idea what that means. Yay! <laughs> clip of the skills. I love it. Thank you very much. I love clips of art. It really helps me out with uh, things like my YouTube shorts and everything. So thank you. I really appreciate it. Sam. Check the terminal for available orders. Um, do I have to? It's like someone there. This is a safe place, 1000%. Um, apart from when a guy gives you a nuke without you realizing. Yeah, there's some actually real sad moments in this game. So one thing you would have missed previously is um, there's a character called Fragile. She's a bit like you. She's a courier. Um, and she uh, obviously does the same as you. But she is... Uh, how to describe it? So certain people have a level of connection with the beach. So Sam's sensitive and he can pick up the BTs. And with the BB unit, he can see them and all that lot. Hers is a higher level that allows her to teleport to the beach and then to another area. Um, can't take any cargo, but it's almost the fast travel system when you're in your room. You can basically teleport, and that's her ability. Well, she was uh, part of a group where the guy who was in the group was actually one of the terrorists, and he tricked her to delivering a nuke into a city. Um, and basically, because she kind of rebelled against him, he basically stripped her down to her underwear uh, under a bridge when there was heavy rainfall and said she had a choice. She could either take the bomb into the city or she could take the bomb to, I think it was like the tar pit or something, to stop it going off. However, she would have to do it naked, which means the time fall would hit her and start to age her. But as an added insult, the, the evil bastard put his protective hood on her so basically, all the only part of her body that was protected from time fall was her head. And she did. She ran through the time fall to save the city with this nuke. And as a result, her body's fucked. And it was really sad. Like I say, there are some seriously weird, twisted, but also quite emotional scenes in this game. Like the last one I would describe in around the, uh, the woman with the baby. It's, it was quite like heartbreaking to watch, I'll be honest with you. Granted, I've got a face of emotionless stone at times with some of these emotional scenes. But the, it, it took on heartstrings, trust me. Right, let's deliver some lost cargo. But yeah, honestly, it's if this was so if this was a film, it'd have to be like a trilogy. There's that much content. But the storyline, and you know what? I shouldn't expect any less. This is the guy who did the Metal Gear Solid games. Uh, and honestly, he is great at his storylines and content and ideas. And just like, wow. Oh, there's a storyline mission. Aha, right. So there we go. So we need that because that's going to take us to our next checkpoint to then move us further up. So we'll take that. Stick that on the vehicle. Exa well, yeah, exactly. If it's a big game, it should, um, it should be a good game. It's like uh, Witcher 3. I, I still have not completed The Witcher 3. I, I just get so caught up with the side quests, honestly. And I played that game for so long, I ended up stopping playing it. And at some point, I need to go back to it. The, uh, the one... So, the one... I don't, want to, I don't want it to sound negative. The one criticism... And it is a constructive criticism of this game I do have is the inventory. The amount of messing around and having to go in and out of the menu sometimes gets really on my tits. It is a little janky at times. Like you have to press A to confirm, then A to confirm. Then you have to make sure you've confirmed that. Did you confirm? But did you confirm the confirm of the confirm? And it's like, for God's sake, if I've selected it, put it on my back. It's a safe bet I want it on my back. So don't make me confirm the confirm of the confirm. 
apparently someone's uh, returned some of my cargo here. So this is a shared locker where the world puts stuff in. And apparently I've got some stuff in here, it's saying. So let's have a look. See, a level one bowler gun. I don't want it. So I'm going to leave it there because, you know, someone else can have it. Your work is great. So bird of creativity. This is our private room where the game you get to rest and stuff. So you're gonna I'm I'm not gonna skip some scenes now. I'm gonna let you just watch the detail they put into the game. If if they do the full detail. Cause I'm assuming you know who Norman Reedus is, obviously the actor who plays Sam, because he's from The Walking Dead. So they steal my blood every time I sleep here. I I think the vampires, you know. So he is, here he is. So you can interact with this room now. So yeah, I'm gonna treat you. So I'm not, I'm not sure if you're a fan of uh, Norman Reedus, but here you go. This, this, will, this one's for all the viewers, just to show you. They really like to let you watch him shower. Sometimes, it, obviously, it doesn't show anything it shouldn't do, but sometimes it shows you more than you want to see. <laughs> Sometimes it will do. In fact, it might be doing it now. Yep. Yep, it's doing it. Is, is it going to go higher? No, it didn't. Sometimes it will go a little higher. So interesting fact as well. When you do stuff like this, they collect your bodily fluids and turn them into weapons. And you'll see here, we have cans of monster. I wish these were real because I would love a can of monster right now. Um, but I don't have any. But you've also got these little crypto bites. I think I'm saying that right. Uh, no, I've not done that, but I, I've seen Jack Septsky do that and get him to punch the camera. So yeah, you get to watch him eating little crypto bites. I'm just gonna eat the jar, but I'm gonna skip the rest because you've seen thingy. And funnily enough, one time I ended up in my restroom and the monster weren't there, and I'm like, oh, have they updated the game? Have, have monster re removed the um approval to have it in but it weren't it was just you had cans of beer and i was necking them all for the energy boost that i'm gonna get in a second instead i made him get a little bit pissed and he smashed the place up <laughs> and it's like okay so you can do that but there is a reason for me doing this because if i drink three cans of monster it gives me a 25 percent uh, stamina boost which is cool And now I'm going to treat you to some more uh, cutscenes. So we can go to the toilet. That's right. You can go to the toilet in this game. We can make one and two grenades. P grenades and shit grenades. I shit you not. P grenades. I, I won't lie. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Children should take after self for drinking three cans of energy drink in a row. <laughs> and oh, I, I think it will do it. So I do like this, what they put in, just when it does it. Just hold on. Is it going to still be there? Oh, ride with Norman Reedus AMC8. So it's got a in game advert for a TV show that he's in. I just love that. That's brilliant. But yeah, so you can do loads of other things in here. I'm not going to go through more, but you can interact with all your gear that you're slowly assembling. You can check on BB. Now, I checked on BB uh, once, and some freaky shit happened. Um, in fact, they made a good, few good clips that have just... I think I'm just uploading them to TikTok. I can't remember. I think I've uploaded one of them to TikTok today. Oh. But yeah, sometimes BB uh, freaky things happen. Right, we should be rested. Let's get out of here. Get back on the road. And yeah, we like BB. BB is cool. Popcorn, when he does freaky shit to freak us out, he is uh, he's cool, BB. And like Sam's attached. They wanted to, to, to destroy BB because he were faulty. And Sam refused to do it. Because yeah, they don't see BB as a baby. They see it as a tool. They are grown to be that they they do not uh, age or anything 
Yeah, BB is unique and the only one unit that is compatible with Sam, yeah. So he, he's attached to it. Nope, not pinging me. Go away, I'll ping you. Right. Right. So you're going to get uh, your glimpse of combat here, creativity. We, uh... So there are people who like to um, rob you. Where's my... There it is. So these guys here, for instance. You can go to sleep. Now I've got a bowl of gun that ties them up. You don't want to kill them. Because do you remember what I said about if someone dies, they basically can create problems? So I, even, I do have handguns, but if I was to kill these people, it would actually make the situation worse. So what I do is I knock them out. So if I get a headshot on them like that, with the bowl, it knocks them out. Otherwise, it ties them up, and then I have to go kick them. And I do enjoy kicking them. All right. Should hopefully be a road checkpoint up ahead, and I can try and extend this road. So yeah, so the, the road runs out, because obviously I've never gone further than this. So let's have a look. Um, we need to get there, so I've got a feeling I'm not going to be able to drive, so let's just at least know roughly what direction I'm going. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. God damn it. God damn it. Right, so basically, this is time for, but this is time for where BTs are around. So basically, my little uh, sense is going mad because it can uh, it can detect them. So I want to be careful because they can attack you in a vehicle. But like that, that there, that there, that there. But you know what? This is where this comes in handy because, haha, <laughs> bitches, I got a present for you. Where are you? There you go. Take a bit of that. Bye. And let's just see if there's anything else. Is that, well, yeah, exactly. I'm the given person. And I give of myself because quite literally the BT weapons use my blood. Literally. I have blood bags of my blood to use as weapons. Like, originally, you only start off with uh, grenades that can kind of scare them off. Then you get grenades that can kill them. And now I've got guns that can kill them. So I've got a blood gun, and I've even now upgraded a handgun that shoots blood bullets. I can take this nice and slow. slow. <laughs> Just get the fuck out of here. Oh, that's a road connection thing. I want that. I want that. I want that. I want that. Mine. Alright, hold on. Right, let's just make sure I'm safe before I start getting... Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Alright, we should have a decent amount of materials for this. <laughs> Stick left. Uh, ba -ba 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 -boom. Rebuild rolls. Here we go. Right, so metals. 400. 100. That's where metals gone. Resin. Not the resin, ceramics, I mean. And then crystals. Right, I need a ton of metal to finish this rolled. Um, no, we definitely can't get up there, but we can at least get part way up the mountain. Oh, can we? Okay, I'm I'm embracing my inner Skyrim now. 
We're going to see how far we can get this truck up the hill. Go on, turn. Turn, you big overgrown. There we go. We're up. We're up. I'm embracing me into Skyrim. Me into Skyrim is failing. This is not going well. I'm going the wrong way. I was doing so well. Come on, get up there. Come on. I will not be defeated. Screw you, game. Look at that. Vehicle is not designed for off terrain. Challenge accepted. <laughs> oh, that was fun, though. I have no idea how I, I uh, didn't topple over or blow up my wagon or something. It's not going to last much longer at this rate. not registering the vehicle as being close enough really really game I, I i've quite literally parked it at your doorstep and you're not going to register it as being there that's fine that's fine that's fine be like that see if i care you do realize all i'm gonna do is rob all your metals once i'm done with you and go build that road i hope you realize that You've just made me work hard. Now I'm gonna rob you. <laughs> oh, you must be Sam Bridges. That one man expedition team. We may be cut off up here, but word still travels. We've heard all about the great deliverer, the BT Buster, the terrorist uh, stopper. Ah, I'm still working on that last one. Yeah, <clears> yeah, you work on that. Well, I'm just stoked to meet you, man. So, what you got for us? Whoa, incredible. This will be a huge help. Thanks. You're not going to even recognize the way station when we're through. Look, I've just realized that means more places to try and get to five star. Uh, right, you know what? I've delivered a lot to you. I think the fact that you're so far off the beaten path, you should give me at least five stars. I'm just saying. Like a triple S ranking five star off the bat would be amazing. So you look at look at all that hard work to get there. And one percent damage. You know, that's that one percent damage is worth at least four and a half stars. I would have preferred four and a half, but you know what? Give me two and a bit, by all means. All right. All we need now is to get Jack into the network. Am I right? We're gonna do our floaty shit. That's why I effectively call this bit. BB likes the floaty shit. So we've now connected this to the network, which unlocks a lot of the things in the area I was trying to describe earlier. So we started off all the way on the uh, right side of America, and we are over to here so far. And all those little stars are like little sub-connections, and obviously the big line are the main connections. Armor plate. Non-lethal assault rifle. Okay. It's giving me lots of weapons and all sorts. See, so now you can see all the things that other people have built has appeared on the uh, map now. Man, it sure feels good to be part of the UCA for real. And now we have him in high definition. <laughs> for way too long. I can't wait to reconnect with everyone at HQ. Patching up this place is going to take some work, but... I'm feeling revved up and ready to go like never before. We won't let our country down. Thanks, Sam. And good luck out there. Not that you need it. You're gonna hit the West Coast before you know it. Good work, Sam. 
Next, you need to extend the network to the distro center north of the city. Now would be a damn good time to do it, too, as they just sent out an SOS call. Well. Info still coming in, but it looks like there's been an accident, and we've got injured in need of assistance. Check the delivery terminal for details. Good work. Oh, man. Non lethal riot rifle. Uh, SOS! Oh, Sam's plot armor's thick. That's armor for your shoulders. Yeah, I thought so. The downside is that you won't be able to carry cargo on top Obviously. of it. Obviously. You'll have to weigh the pros and cons. Yeah. Pro is, I won't get hit. Um. Shoots rubber rounds capable of knocking targets unconscious. <laughs> oh yeah, now, now I can just full auto idiots in the face instead of bowling him. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. I love it. I can't make it though because I don't have the materials, but that's fine. I can get one later. All right, let's get in there. All right, hopefully we've got enough metal to finish the road. Oh god, but saying that my vehicle is not going to last much longer unless I find a place to repair it but who knows haha -ha. speak and you shall appear right this is the home someone built and the good thing is i can do this and repair my vehicle he uh, throws them in the vehicle so you'll see him appear on the seat next to him but they'll also automatically go into the cargo room in the back But thanks to someone building this, I can repair my vehicle for free. I just have to rest, which is fine.